All right. So I'm going to show you version four of the CRM platform. This is the same for Checkout Champ and or Connective if you're using either. You can see the same formats. I'm currently in version three. To switch to version four, you'll come up to the hamburger on the top right. You'll open that up and go into account. And under profile, you can see some of your profile information here. You'll click edit profile and you'll select the V4 theme. To hit submit, you can see some things change a little bit, including the navigation and the dashboards. One of the big changes in the new version 3 or version 4 is that you have a couple of things. You can go into full screen mode if you're doing a presentation or something like that. Uh, you can switch from light to dark. I particularly like this when I'm on an airplane at night. You don't want that bright light shining in your face or in everyone else's. Uh, your alerts are here. You have your search functionality at the top. But one of the big changes is you can now customize your dashboard. And what I mean by that is you can click edit. You can add widgets. We're just going to add them all so you can see what happens. You can see there's a number of net revenue widgets, new customer KPIs. So we're adding more and more KPIs to the dashboard that each and every user in your CRM can customize for their own user profile, which is fantastic. And you can see there's a, there's a number of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add all of them. Then I'm going to exit out. And now you can see I have all of these widgets down here that I can add. So the first thing I want to point out is a lot of the structure of the V3 dashboard remains the same, but you do have the ability to now customize that. Um, you know, alerts are down here, news, if I want to put all of my, maybe I want to move my rebuild calendar to the top. This is all drag and drop. Active customers, active subscriptions, I'm just arranging this the way that I want it to be arranged. Um, this is a nice new widget here. Let me move this up a little bit into the dashboard. So we're going to look at hourly revenue. And now, what do I want to move up there? Maybe I want to move this up here. Let's get that organized. Maybe I want to look at this. Some of these are, are, replica, are replicated. They just need to be, they look like replicates, but they need to be renamed so that it makes sense. The naming conventions will change as we get a better grasp on exactly what we want to show. So again, oh, real-time traffic. I want that at the top. So maybe I'm going to put that in front of my fulfillment summary. So now I have a gap, a gap here. And then you see how this is all shifting, shifting about. Anyways, I'm not going to bore you to tears by doing this. Um, let me move this up. Again, I'm nearly at the bottom of the page. So let me just throw a few more of these up here. And then once I have this structured the way that I want it, I click done. And now you can see I have my real-time traffic report. I have hourly revenue yesterday and today. So you can track the delta between um, yesterday and today, uh, your billing summaries are essentially the same. Your sales summaries, partial sales offers, it's a little bit different layout. And I know that a lot of you are averse to change, but you have the ability to truly customize the dashboard the way that you want to see it. Uh, what we'd like to ask you to do is play with it. If you see any issues, 
any ideas, any thoughts, any things that you'd like to see, please feel free to share that feedback to us and we will try to incorporate those KPIs into this new dashboard setup. Um, some of the navigation has changed a little bit where the products are now in a library or a directory where you have your thumbnails of your product. You can categorize your products. Again, use them over and over again in different campaigns or different uh, sales pages or different e-commerce sites. But for the most part, a lot of the navigation has remained the same. Uh, we look forward to your feedback. If you have any questions, any feedback, any problems, please contact your account executive and we would love to work with you. Have a great day.